peace infinite waters diving deep once again beautiful deep divers peace love and harmony i hope you're taking care of yourself i woke up like this all turquoisey and everything deep divers i'm feeling myself it's starting to feel like that old infinite waters again i woke up like this all magical and fly and i hope you're taking care of yourself deep divers look did you hear the news about what happened in the Mexican Congress. This is huge deep divers, like literally meet the real ET. Oh my gosh, yes. Meet the real ET deep divers. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it deep divers. 1000 year old alien corpses, three fingered alien bodies unveiled in Mexico. Oh my gosh. They just went to Congress in Mexico, scientists. And they said, hey, we found it. 1,000 year old alien corpses right here. Oh my gosh, like you just had like US Congress whistleblowers going there and now Mexico? Like deep divers, what on earth is going on? What on earth is going on? Well, 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 deep divers, we're about to dive deep. We are about to dive deep. Okay, what I'm gonna do in this video, first of all, I'm gonna talk about what they're reporting about what's happening. Then I'm gonna talk to you about what I think about this whole situation. Then I'm gonna talk about what they're not telling you and what's really going on. How about that deep divers deal? Fantastic, okay, I want everybody, everybody, everybody right now to hit that like button right now if you support the real deep divers hit that like button right now if you support the real you know why because we got a whole lot to talk about <laughs> Peace, infinite waters, diving deep once again, deep divers. That was beautiful, let's breathe. Woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. What are we doing? Raising the frequency, what else? Raising the vibration, sprinkling that good ass energy on you right now, deep divers. Take that, take that, take that. Look, if you are watching this video, this is your confirmation. Major blessings are coming your way. All you have to do is say thank you, thank you. It's that simple. Now, let's talk about this, Deep Divers. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about this. Did you hear about that new story, Deep Divers? Oh my gosh. Let's talk about the 1,000-year-old alien corpses. Three-fingered alien bodies unveiled in Mexico. Okay, so scientists, they went to Congress in Mexico. They're like, hey, look, we found this. We found this. Okay. And this was actually discovered in 2017, I believe, in Peru, right? So, all of a sudden, right now on the planet, like, UFOs, aliens is no more science fiction. It's no longer science fiction. It's science now. Mmm. Oh, my gosh. Slow motion this side. Mmm. Like, the science fiction deep divers is actually what's happening right now is the science now we're living i told you in the most exciting times because more and more people are expanding their mind realizing we may not be alone in the universe and we may not be the only intelligent life form in the universe the cat down the road is saying are human beings even intelligent ralph no they're not we are not intelligent deep divers even the cat down the road knows that and we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? <laughs> one love to all of you deep divers. I'm in a good mood today because I chose to be in one. Let's talk about this. Meet the real ET, okay? So we're really going to dive into this whole story. I actually came across this yesterday. And I'm like, okay. They're going into Congress. 
They just went to the U.S. Congress saying, hey, we have found non-human biologics, right? This is crazy. And now in Mexico, like, what's happening, right? I'm starting to feel that something big is about to happen with UFOs and aliens. They're about to come out of the woodworks and say, hey, we've been hiding. Here we are. And people will still not believe them, right? So let's go through this story, Deep Divers. Okay, let me let me read you a little report. Can we do that? Can we do that, Deep Divers? We can do that. Now, DNA testing proved that these alien corpses are not part of our terrestrial evolution, okay? So, 1,000-year-old corpses displayed in Mexican Congress. So, Mexican politicians were shown two mummified corpses this week that a UFO expert claimed are a clear demonstration of non-human aliens. The two human bodies, not human, <laughs> the two bodies were only three fingers, with only three fingers on each hand and elongated, elongated ET style heads were displayed in windowed boxes Tuesday for a public congressional hearing on unidentified anomalous phenomena. UAPs, the corpses are between 700 and 1,800 years old with x-rays showing one has mysterious eggs inside. Ufologist Jamie Mawson told the hearing, we are not alone, Mawson said. Deep divers, I need a moment right now. I need a moment right now just to process how I'm feeling. Like, I can't believe this is happening. Now, once again, Deep Divers, I'm just going to give you the reporting of how they're reporting it. Don't worry, we're going to dive deep at, into, at, into what's actually going on, okay? But let me just give you the reporting, how this is being reported, right, by the media. Okay, so once again, let me go through some slideshows, Deep Divers. Here you have it right here. This is the alien corpse in this box in the Mexico Congress. Here you have the ufologist, also scientist, Jamie Mawson, right? And here you have the x-ray showing there are eggs inside these alien corpses. Like, oh my gosh. Reminds me of the film Alien. Oh my gosh, deep divers. And here you have it again, some scientists, like, and someone wrote this down. So the Mexicans discovered a 1,000-year-old mummy, which supposedly is an alien, and this alien happens to look exactly like Spielberg's E.T. Have a human-looking body, one head, two hands, two legs, a very hard pill to swallow, okay? So here we have even the ancient Egyptians talking about UFOs, right? <laughs> <laughs> Ancients have always talked about this. So what do I think about this whole story, Deep Divers? Let me give you my take. Can, let me give you how I feel about it, right? My side of the story. Because we've heard their side of the story. But what about Infinite Water's side of the story, Deep Divers? First and foremost, we are not alone in the universe, okay? You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that. It's just obvious. You know why? Because we are like a grain of sand, in the universe and they are finding earth-like planets every single second kepler 186f kepler 452b i could keep on going to toi c d e f g they've got a whole list of earth-like planets so there must be intelligent life there and as i see it you've got to take everything with a pinch of salt that you're being told by the media but don't be so skeptical about everything. Not, not everything is a lie. There is a lot of truth in these revelations that we're now seeing that actually there are beings on this planet which are not human, okay? This has been happening for thousands of years. People have been discovering bodies which are not human. Like, where did that come from? They've been discovering 
UFO crash sites like Roswell, okay? It goes on and on, even Zimbabwe, okay? They discovered an alien craft and children actually talked about it, right? And there was a whole story back in the day about that. So when you remind yourself that even the ancient world, talk, they talked about how we are not alone, okay? Even in the Bible, they talked about it, the Nephilim, giants walking the earth. So as I see it, yes, aliens are real. Yes, we are not alone in the universe. Yes, we have to expand our mind. At the same time, I do find it very strange, very fishy, that all of a sudden you're having all of these UFO stories, like UFO story in the US, them going to the the Congress, the US Congress whistleblower saying, hey, we found non-human biologics. And now you have Mexico, them going to the Congress there and saying, hey, we found non-human biologics as well. These alien corpses are 1000 years old. And I'm starting to say, okay, why is this happening? Are they getting human beings ready for a massive UFO story? Like, UFOs are here, they're invading the planet, go into another lockdown. Because you've got to research things like Project Bluebeam. There are so many things that human beings are not being told. And that's why I always tell you, when we talk of becoming our greatest versions, when we talk of becoming our greatest versions, you have to question everything. There's a saying that, believe nothing of what you see and only half of what you hear. Mmm, slow motion. Mm. So let me actually play you the video deep divers of how they were reporting it as well, okay? So listen to this. Son seres no humanos que no son parte de nuestra evolución terrestre y que después de desaparecer no hay una evolución posterior. De acuerdo a la Universidad Nacional Autónoma de México, quien realizó los análisis de carbono 14, estos seres tienen alrededor de mil años de antigüedad. Es decir, no se trata de seres que fueron recuperados en aves, que son estrellamientos, sino son seres que estaban sepultados en minas de diatomea, tierra de diatomea. La diatomea es una alga fosilizada con 17 millones de antigüedad, es fitoplancton que abundaba en aquel tiempo y al desaparecer se fosilizó. Okay, so you just heard it right there. So I would really love to believe that you have honest people, honest scientists, honest people in academia, really on the right side of history saying, hey, we are speaking up about all of the hidden things happening in this world, including 1,000 year old alien corpses, right? And I always wanna give people the benefit of the doubt. I don't believe everyone is lying to us. I do believe that there are genuine scientists who are really out there to find out the truth. And that's what we'll, that's what we're all here to do, deep divers. We are all here to dive deep into the mysteries because when you realize you've been living in a matrix, everything you know about the world is a big lie. You have to unlearn everything you have been taught because it's all a program. And you have to start programming yourself and expanding your mind to find out the truth. Now, I did say, let's find out about what's really going on, okay? Let's do that. So, are aliens on Earth already? Question mark. Let's go deep divers, let's talk about this. So, number one, DNA testing proved that these specimens are not part of our terrestrial evolution. Okay, there are so many scientists out there who are finding alien specimens, which are not linked to our own DNA, including this scientist, right? So we have to realize that they all can't be lying. And when you remind yourself that this earth is home to hundreds of millions of species, it is not hard to believe that actually aliens have already been here 
for eons, right? Okay, so let's also talk about this, Deep Divers. There is enough credible evidence available to indicate that we are being visited by unknown aircraft. Now, this is exciting, Deep Divers. I told you that in California, like the US Pentagon has already confirmed UFOs. Right? That's even crazy. They weren't saying UFOs are coming from the sky in California. They were actually filming them dropping down to the ocean. That's crazy. There are so many, there is so much footage of that everywhere. Go and look at my videos on that, right? So it's not hard to see that we've already been visited by unknown aircrafts, right? So what else? The concept that we are alone is both arrogant and ignorant. 200 billion trillion stars are in the universe. I don't think you heard me, deep divers, right? The concept that we are alone is arrogant. You know why? Because 200 billion trillion stars are in the universe. That's crazy. Go and see how much 200 billion trillion is, deep divers, right? And you think we are the only ones in this universe with intelligence? No. Alien life forms are everywhere. What else? There will be a massive UFO story soon. You just know it's coming. And that's what I've been telling you. I told you, deep divers, that they are getting ready. They are getting you ready for something. Now, don't get it twisted. Aliens are real. UFOs are real. But there is also an agenda to use this to, in my mind, kind of create a fake narrative. Like they want to hurt you. No, these aliens don't want to hurt you. They're so far advanced than you. They're more advanced than you. They're just chilling, doing their thing, like strolling into this earth, then probably leaving. They don't even probably care about this planet. They've got better things to do, like chill with a cat down the road who is also another alien. Deep dives. <laughs> What else? Okay, Genesis 6-4, which states the Nephilim were on the earth in those days, right? And I always talk about that. Genesis 6-4, the Nephilim were on the earth in those days, okay? These are the giants they talk about in the Old Testament, right? These giant beings, right? And they, they're, they're looking like these uh, unknowns right here, right? They were on earth in those days and they actually... When they saw the daughters of earth, they had children with the daughters of earth, right? So this is all documented even in the Bible, in other ancient texts, Enuma Elish, the Dead Sea Scrolls, the, the Vedas. They talk about these alien beings, right? What else? Astrophysicist Carl Sagan, shout out to Carl Sagan, considered the possibility that ancient humans may have recorded visitations from extraterrestrials, right? Now, Carl Sagan, if you don't know who he is, go and research Carl Sagan, fantastic mind. He was even of the impression that we are not alone in the universe, right? Because we are a pale blue dot, okay? Now, Oans, okay, this is like a Sumerian fish god, right? Zachariah Sitchin talks about how the Sumerians had this connection to other extraterrestrials, right? So when you begin to dive deeper and do your research, you realize that actually we have never, ever been alone. And this is the reason why all of a sudden you are having more stories that, hey, look at the evidence. Look at the evidence. Look at the science. They're going to Congress. They're not playing around, deep divers. They're going to Congress. Okay. And all of this ties back to the ancient world, ancient Egypt. People say maybe the aliens helped to build the pyramids. They gave the, the Egyptians technology. Who knows, right? This is Zimbabwe, okay? There are documented alien visitations. Go and research that, okay? So 
you've seen it in the movies, Deep Divers. You've seen it in the movies, and now it's happening right now, because I told you, they always put it in the movies. Steven Spielberg, when he was talking about E.T. Phone Home, right? You, you seen that film? E.T. Phone Home. Yeah, Steven Spielberg was talking about this, which is a reality. Where on earth, Deep Divers, do you think they get their ideas from? Mmm. Oh, my gosh. Slow motion this side. Mmm. I said, Steven Spielberg... E.T. phone home, where on earth do you think they get their ideas from, Deep Divers? It's already here. E.T. phone home is already here, Deep Divers. <laughs> Let me know what you think as well, Deep Divers, right? I want everybody to hit that like button right now if you support the real. Hit that like button right now if you support the real. And let me just tell you this, Deep Divers. I've got friends in Brazil all over the world. If you see a UFO or an alien, DM me on Instagram at officialralphsmart. I'm going to show it to the world as well. But people send me videos, right, in Brazil, all over the world. And they're like, look, I've seen a UFO out of my window, Ralph. I've received tons of those. And I also see UFOs all the time, right? So what's happening right now on the planet is that people are now having the courage to speak up, to say, actually, this is what I've seen. They're going to Congress, U.S. Congress. Mexican Congress, right? So all of these people can't be crazy and delusional. There is something happening here, deep divers. And that's why I'm just saying, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? <laughs> One love to all of you wonderful deep divers. Let's breathe. That was healthy. Let's go. Woo. Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Shout out to all of you. Now, go and check out the number one best-selling book, Deep Divers, Feel Alive by Ralph Smart on Amazon and at ralphsmart.com slash the book, The Bible of Becoming Your Greatest Version. Also, go and check out the latest new book, The Book of 1111 Infinite Quotes by Ralph Smart, The Secret Recipe to Becoming Your Greatest Version. Also, go and get the Good Ass Prana shirts, all new limited edition designs at ralphsmart.com slash clothes and spreadshirt.com if you're in America. And if you're a sexy ass model, woo, who believes in aliens, you can do a little samba, baby. You want to model the clothing deep dive as well, go and buy some, right? DM me on Instagram at official Ralph Smart. Let me know why you have what it takes. We're doing the fashion show in Miami. If you want to be an Infinite Waters model, let me know. So deep divers, we've just dived deep, okay, into meet the real ET, meet the real ET. Look, Deep Dives is happening. They're telling you. The aliens, the UFOs, they've always been here. You better wake up and recognize and see what time it is because it's happening right in front of your eyes. Now, some people are going to be skeptical. Be skeptical. Say, hey, that's a load of nonsense. But also have a critical mind to say, actually, are we really the only intelligent life form in the universe? Wait a second. Are we even intelligent to begin with? Yeah. You see, you start coming into conclusions that you'll say like, oh, my gosh. There must be life elsewhere that we don't know about. Yes, there is deep divers, okay? I love all of you. Is one love? One love? One love. Peace. Infinite waters. Let's do that again. Peace. Let me give you more energy, deep divers. Peace. You feel that? Peace. Infinite waters. Diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy. Peace. You. Once again, Deep Divers, I want everybody to hit that like button right now if you support The Real. Hit that like button right now if you support The Real. Share this video. Let's get this video into the algorithm, Deep Divers. Leave a comment down below of gratitude and appreciation and let me know how this video inspired you to open your mind to realize that we are not alone. No, we're not, Deep Divers. No, no. Even the cat down the road knows that. Even the cat down the road knows that, deep divers. One love, one love, peace. <laughs>